Hey everybody, it's Josh Ellsworth from Stalls, and I'm excited to be here with you today for our product launch event. And so uh, this is a sneak preview. Uh, we're actually launching a new heat press that we are super excited about. The product name is the A2Z Swing Away Heat Press. And so I have it here beside me. It's small enough to fit on a desktop, but large enough for your printing needs, and it is at a price point that you're not going to believe. So if you are looking to get started printing t-shirts, this is going to be the heat press for you. If you're looking to add another heat press to your business and you don't wanna break the bank or you wanna get something that's lightweight that you can travel with, you're really gonna love this machine. It's manufactured by Stalls, made in the USA, and I'm gonna give you a product tour of this press, let you know uh, how this can benefit your business, and if you already have a heat press and you're not necessarily in the market for a new one, that's okay. Stick around. So when you are, you'll know the features and you'll also learn uh, about some different transfer types in today's session while we spend some time together. So make sure you shout out exactly who you are and where you're watching from. I appreciate everybody doing that. We have folks uh, from Tennessee to New York uh, to Fort Worth, Texas uh, joining today. There's another uh, person watching from Texas and uh, we are excited uh, that you're here with us. Uh, Virginia, Pennsylvania, Illinois, Alabama. I can't even keep up with how many people are watching. I know we have a great crowd today. So I'm broadcasting live from our office space at Installs uh, Uniontown. Um, but I set this up actually on my desk. So this is the desk I work in every day. And I wanted to set this up on a desk so you can see the footprint and exactly how small of a space that this can fit on. This is our new A to Z swing away heat press. And so as the name implies, the machine swings away, which gives you a completely heat free layout space. And I love that about this press. So previously you had to jump up into our Hotronics Fusion series to get a machine with a heat free workspace. Now we've innovated this machine. It's a 15 by 15 inch size and it swings completely away, giving you full access to your print and layout area. So it has a convenient handle to be able to swing the machine back into place, and it's very um, tight, compact, uh, nice fit into your home office space or wherever you're setting it up for an event, whatever that may be. The next thing I wanna show you about the press before we actually print something together is the digital control board. So this press is fully digital, you can hit the mode button. You can adjust the temperature to whatever you're gonna press using the plus and minus keys. You can hit the mode button again and you can adjust the timer and you hit the mode button again and it will tell you the temperature that the machine actually is at. So one of the big things about this press is we've manufactured it to be quality, accurate, but at an economy price point. So usually I save price to the end, but I like to get out front on this because you're not going to believe the price. This machine is only $699. Yes, made by Stalls, made in the USA at a $699 price point. So you may have, you may think when you get into a heat press under the $1,000 price point that it's not going to be as quality as what else is, is out there. And that is true. There's a lot of machines that are sold at that sub $1,000 price point that you just don't get the accuracy out of. Typically, these machines are built offshore. They're imported into the U.S. market, um, and sometimes some corners are cut, and you don't get completely accurate time, temperature, and pressure. Actually, if you've watched my videos for any length of time, you probably saw one where I ordered one off of Amazon, and I literally cut the press in half at our heat press manufacturing facility to show you inside of the heater. Um, now, of course, that's not the case with this machine. You can trust this. It's accurate. Uh, it's built by stalls. And so you're going to get a high quality machine. So swing away design, digital time and temperature. All of the pressure adjustment is right here on the back of the machine. And so when you turn this pressure adjustment clockwise, it lowers the heater to increase the pressure. When you turn it counterclockwise, it raises the heater to decrease the pressure uh, when you're applying it. It is a uh, shovel handle design, so it's really nice single hand operation. Uh, right now I have it on a heavy pressure and watch this. I can lock it with one hand without much effort at all. And that's part of the ergonomics and the design of this thing is that our leverage point 
is directly over the center. So we are getting even pressure, accurate pressure from the center out, even though we're adjusting the pressure in the back of the machine. So we love that about it. Very easy to lock down. It will give you the audible alarm as the timer counts down after you lock it down and it'll beep. And then you open the machine and you're ready to swing it away and peel back your transfer. So let me uh, show you this um, and I will demonstrate uh, how to change the uh, lower uh, platen. So with this machine, we call it semi-threadable. So I can actually load this machine three ways. If you're printing t-shirts, you can place the t-shirt on top of the press just like this. If your item's fairly flat like a t-shirt, get it nice and flat onto the machine so the collar of the t-shirt's hanging off the back. That gives me a nice flat uh, print area to be able to do my preheat on. Um, also, if we take a peek underneath the machine here, there is a uh, post casting that's directly in the center. This actually allows you to be able to still split your shirt on your larger sizes uh, and to be able to thread that on. Now you can add um, extra, like a quick slip pad protector to make it easier to thread, but even with the base machine, I can split my garment open, I can thread it on uh, to get, also get my completely flat printing area. That's gonna be especially helpful when I'm printing the back of say like a V-neck design or maybe the back of a polo shirt or a jacket where there's some buttons or some structure that I need to get rid of because in heat pressing, you need to make sure that you um, get your item completely flat, that there's no obstructions of seams or buttons or zippers, and so you can get accuracy. Now, a nice benefit of this press as well is you're actually able to reverse thread. So I know some people don't like to operate the machine um, upside down, place their transfer upside down. So on this machine, it actually swings away and I can pull my shirt down this way um, to position it onto the press. And now, I've threaded it as well, and I'm placing my graphic with the shirt right side up. So a lot of flexibility with how you're able to load this machine for uh, printing transfers or whatever it may be. There's some space back here that allows you to even like drop a, a hood on a hoodie or a bulkier garment uh, behind the machine. Uh, I personally like to either just lay it on if I'm pressing a t-shirt or thread upside down um, as I've shown you here. But for the basic application, let me just load it on. We're gonna just lay it down. And I am gonna take your questions, so keep those coming in throughout the session. Let me make sure it's flat, and we're gonna start with that preheat to remove the moisture and wrinkles. Make sure I have my firm pressure here. And then after it's preheated, I'm going to position my transfer. This is a screen printed transfer. It's just a distressed design uh, in our goof proof formula from Transfer Express position that down. It gives me a nice centering line with the back post of the machine directly over center. So I like that for being able to center my transfers. Just make sure I positioned that the right way. Yes, I did. All right. And then I'm going to lock it down. Make sure to follow the application recipe for the particular transfer that you're pressing. It'll count down to zero and it will beep when it's finished. And then we can hot peel the backing and we have a completed result. We discard the back of the transfer, and there we go, a high quality, durable result. You can see that detail. This is actually Plastisol ink that's been screen printed onto a transfer sheet sent to you from Transfer Express, and it's that easy to press. This machine weighs less than 60 pounds, so if you already have a machine that's in your shop and you wanna be able to do some stuff from home or you wanna be able to travel uh, with this machine, it's very easy. Uh, to be able to pack up on the go, throw in a trunk and handle it uh, to be very portable. Now, got a question earlier about the interchangeable attachments. Let me show you how that works. Directly underneath the machine here, there's a knob. It looks just like this knob or this knob. We use the same knob for all three locations on the machine. I'm just gonna turn this counterclockwise, drop it out and it swaps out just like that, okay? So there's a couple things I wanna show you here. One is how quick is that to change it? Uh, it's very quick, very easy, and the top heater is 15 by 15 inches. So any of our smaller attachments from stalls or Transfer Express, you can get to be able to fit on this machine. So I think a really popular one will be like an eight by 10 inch uh, to be able to do youth items or bags, the six by 10 inch, of course, um, the four by four, 11 by 15. So all the attachments will work as long as they're smaller than 15 by 15, okay? I'm gonna show you how to print some other items like legs and sleeves on this machine using some other accessories. But one thing I want you to see here is one, we see that simple 
uh, registration system where I'm able to turn the knob to change the platen. But we actually um, have a look at the heater of this machine uh, underneath our standard 15 by 15 platen. And here's where you get the accuracy. You can see that these are microwound coils. So if you're able to look inside of any of our stalls machines, this is the design that you would see for the heating element. Okay, so on the top of the machine, this is the heating element. You can see the heating coils are individually spaced. It's not a Z pattern or an X pattern. So I'm not gonna get cold spots or inaccurate temperature. I'm gonna get even temperature throughout the whole pressing area. And that's really awesome when you're printing uh, different items. All right, so let's load that back on. And it just has like a little registration system to make sure it's fit and snug in there so it's not gonna move. And then I'm just going to take my uh, adjustment and be able to screw that back in. Just takes a couple seconds. And now that's on there, it's not going anywhere. So very quick, very easy. Um, this is not, this is a 15 by 15 inch press. So previously, if you've seen our pink machine, that was a nine by 12. Uh, we sell some 11 by 15 machines that are around, you know, the $850, $900 price point. But this price point at $699 for 15 by 15 inch swing away, made in the USA with uh, the guaranteed quality from stalls is something that you've never seen before. So let's um, load another shirt on. And for this one, I'm just gonna split and thread it to show you the how to print that style. We're gonna print another transfer together before we move on to some more complicated items because I like to say that this press can print everything from A to Z uh, and that's how it got its name. So again, I'm just gonna load, I'm gonna preheat. Then I will take my transfer. In this case, I'm gonna print the full um, 11 and a quarter by 14 inch sheet. We've, we've come up with a design that covers the whole sheet. And what I like is the transfer sheets from Transfer Express are actually 15 inches wide, even though it's only a 14 and a quarter inch print area. When I lay this onto the press, the edges of that transfer sheet, I'm not see if you can, sure if you can see that, but if you're doing full prints, it's perfectly square to the edge. So as far as lining your transfers up, um, it makes it very easy on this 15 by 15 inch size if you're doing full front prints. I just line it up, I'm gonna swing the machine, lock it down, again, it locks down evenly and let it count down to zero. So that is um, an awesome functionality of this machine that I can just place my print, press, peel, and then I'll remove it. Now don't worry about the scorch mark on this. This is what happens to red shirts if you've been pressing shirts. Uh, you know that that'll go away because this is a cotton shirt and it produces your high quality uh, print every time. So let's move on to um, a little bit more uh, complicated. So this press has a nice distance between the platen and the top of the heater. And what that distance does for you is it allows you to use tools like sleeve and leg pillows and like print perfect pads to be able to insert into your item to raise the printing area. So if I'm pressing something like a hoodie and I wanna do a placement on the corner of the hood or maybe like a, a location on this, it's going to be tough to do. The nice thing about this machine is I can load the item on, in this case we have the hood, and then I can put the print perfect pad inside of the item to raise that print surface. And what that did is it gets rid of the drawstring on the hood. So you can see here that the drawstring is falling right off of the edge. It gives me a nice flat print surface. Now, of course, if I bring this press over and try to lock it down, there's no way that it's gonna lock down. That's way too much pressure on that because I've raised the thickness. So what I'm gonna do is just kind of rest this here. I'm gonna turn this counterclockwise to raise the platen, then get a feel for the same firm pressure. And now I have a print location that I can print here. So when you're ordering screen printed transfers, we love uh, gang sheets. It's how you save money by using all the real estate on this sheet. So I'm not gonna print the front again, but this is intended to be a front print location. And then you can do, whether it's a logo, a number, or some other sort of personalization uh, to add to your garment. And you can print all types of print locations on this, on this machine by having the proper accessory. So let's just do a number drop, which can be, let's just say the graduating year um, in this case. 
because with screen printed transfers, it doesn't make too much sense to do player numbers since they're one of a kind. And I'm just gonna trim that, put it into place, and again, complete the application, let you get a close up of how that works. So you can see all the pressures coming directly over the center, very convenient, very easy to lock down. After it's been applied, grab the corner, peel back my transfer, and then I have my perfect print, my personalized number. So very quick, very easy. Now let me show you while we're up close how to adjust the temperature. Now we're gonna go into some lower temp applications and I'm gonna look through some questions here. I'm gonna drop this down. Let's go to about 300 degrees. This machine does uh, still pull uh, 14 and a half amps. So we do recommend you put it on a dedicated 20 amp circuit whenever you are using the machine. So make sure that you do, still do the dedicated 20 amp circuit, um, whether you're traveling with it or using it from home, you're gonna wanna have that. And um, right now I do have my laptop plugged in as well as the lights that are lighting my uh, set here plugged in with it. So you can have a little bit plugged in, but you wanna make sure that you don't uh, trip the breaker um, or uh, run the, don't run this on an extension cord or a power strip, it needs to go directly into the wall if you are using. Um, an extension cord, make sure it's a thicker gauge and we give you guidance for that um, when you receive the manual after you buy the machine. So let's review. This is the A to Z swing away heat press. It's cooling down to get ready for the next application. It has digital time, digital temperature. It's semi-threadable. It has a nice pressure adjustment that will allow you to do um, the regular platen as well as thicker items with the print perfect pads and the heat printing pillows. It does have interchangeable attachments that'll allow you to get the right size for the job. So you can print an assortment of items and the price is $699. It's made in the USA by stalls. And right now we are in the preview phase of this or the pre-order phase. And so we are going to share a link with you where you can go and get on the pre-order list if you know you want this machine. Uh, we will be shipping um, a small quantity of these machines out in the month of July. They'll start to ship around mid-July, and then we will be fully ramped up in production at all, in August. So you're getting a uh, sneak preview here of the A to Z swing away heat press. Let me look at uh, some of the questions that are coming in here. Um, Renee asks, is a 20 amp outlet standard house current? Uh, so it's a 110 volt, so it'll plug into your standard um, outlet, but you just need to make sure that you're pulling enough um, amperage uh, through that and that you're not plugging in a bunch of other stuff. If you're running the hair dryer with your heat press, then it's definitely going to have an issue uh, and trip the breaker. So that's something you'll want to consult with your electrician or look at your electrical panel to make sure you have a dedicated 20 amp circuit. Um, does it come with any extras? So uh, the heat press just comes as is. Um, I would recommend that you add a print perfect pad and at least a heat printing pillow set to get started. And then you can decide if you need to add additional platens. Um, let's take some additional questions here. Price of the press is uh, $699. Okay, question, um, what if the mark, so I'm assuming the red shirt, uh, if the mark doesn't go away after sitting for two days, would that mean you scorched it or it just needs to be washed? So typically if it's a cotton garment, the mark will always go away even after an hour or a half hour sometimes. Uh, if you are, if you've scorched your garment, you're gonna know it'll definitely be there after two days. And typically you only see that scorching if you have polyester that enters the equation or rayon or, or some, content there that's a little bit higher. So in that case, yeah, the, the answer is find a lower temp transfer. We press this one up at 360, that's our goof proof uh, from Transfer Express. We also have Elasti prints that presses down at 300. And one of the heat transfer film applications we're getting ready to do is UltraWeed, that presses down at two, as low as 260 degrees. So if you're having lots of scorching issues, you may need to get a lower temperature uh, transfer. All right. Yeah, so Patrice says, I was thinking the pink press for events. I like this one better. Yeah, you get a nice uh, larger print surface, the 15 by 15, and also uh, the swing away, which I really like, um, especially when you were doing layout. The heat-free layout cannot be overstated. Uh, those of you that have been watching me know I have a clamshell at home and I use it a lot. 
I'm pretty comfortable with that because um, I know my placement, I can get stuff straight uh, most of the time, uh, but it does get warm under there when you're doing a lot of applications. On the swing away style, the heat is completely um, out of your way. It's way over here when you're doing your placement, so it's not warm um, underneath the press where you're placing it. And it also contains the heat when you're not using it. So you're not using as much electricity as if the press is just sitting open, um, exposed to the air. All right, uh, we don't currently have a 16 by 20 in this. Uh, we do the 15 by 15, the 16 by 20 presses. We have a lot of them, but nothing in this price point. All right, uh, question was, when would you use a cover sheet? Uh, never on a screen printed transfer. Um, only when you're using heat transfer vinyl or print cut vinyl or something like that. Screen printed transfers have their own cover sheet built in um, and we don't typically recommend uh, using cover sheets on that except for one type, which is ultra color soft. And that's more of a digital screen printed transfer. Um, Sandra, <clears throat> excuse me. Sandra asked, is this more for uh, crafting world, not business load? I wouldn't say that necessarily. Um, it's certainly not a Hotronics build where we're giving you a five-year warranty, but this certainly is intended to be a durable machine uh, for business use and for making profit in your heat press business. We've just been able to develop it um, very simply and hit an economy price point. So it doesn't have all the bells and whistles uh, that you have on the Hotronics machines, but certainly uh, would work for a business. If you're doing a lot of applications, then yeah, you're gonna wanna invest in a higher-end Hotronics machine. Um, question from GB says, how much would the additional smaller platens be? So the smaller platen prices are all on our website and those typically range from about $100 to $200, depending on which size uh, you go with. I believe our six by 10 inch is $100. Um, that would probably be one that you would want to pair with this uh, 15 by 15 uh, print surface. So for those of you that are operating with a maybe a less than quality machine, um, this is going to be a great upgrade for you. What we have found is there's a lot of machines out there on the market that not only are they inaccurate, but even if they're accurate, if they have the thin platen, they lose temperature after multiple applications. So if you were to do a job of 20 shirts, by the time you got to shirt number 20, if you're pressing them in a row, which is what most people wanna do, your temperature is not going to be what it was originally set for, and you're gonna lose some of that heat. With this press, we've designed it to be able to hold the heat. Um, it has high quality components to be able to trigger from the control board uh, to the heater when it's losing heat. So it keeps triggering that heater to stay up the temperature to make sure you're getting accurate on all of the prints. So 15 by 15 swing away print surface. We're down at the 300 degrees. So let's press some more products on our new A to Z swing away heat press. So a polo, I want to show you how to do this. So this is a performance polo. You have the button structure. And I really like uh, the ability to thread on polos because a lot of times you have maybe a seam structure on the back of the polo or something that's going to cause an issue. So being able to even just semi-thread this and split it and load it on is going to help you get to that left chest print location very easily. So in this case, I've split it and you can see those buttons are still up on the press, but that's plenty of room for me to grab my print perfect pad, slide it into the press to be able to get to that print surface. And the nice thing about doing it this way is I'm still able to see a lot of the shirt, which is going to help me a lot with being able to align my graphic appropriately. Now for this application, we can see this polo um, has some dyes in it that may want to bleed with this pattern. So we are going to use a cover sheet because I'm going to apply a heat transfer film. Let's make sure my pressure is good. I'm going to adjust it back slightly because I have the pad in there. And that also helps me do my preheat. And I'm going to do a two color design. So in this case, we are going to press our fashion film electric material in the color red and also this uh, prism, which is almost like a diamond plate effect for the silver prism. So let's see, I'm gonna start with the red. This is a tonal effect, but because it is metallic, it'll stand off on the garment. When you're placing left chest graphics, I usually like to pinch the top shoulder here and run a centering line down uh, to my design. So I have that in a good position. And when you're using heat transfer films from stalls, you'll see a lot of them can be tacked down 
uh, for just a couple seconds and then peeled. So these films can be cut on uh, any vinyl cutter that's out there on the market. Uh, we sell them by the roll over at stalls.com. And when you're doing heat transfer films, multicolors, always recommend tack that background layer for just a couple seconds. Get the press out of the way. I'm going to peel the backing. That will get that to temporarily hold. And then I can take my next layer and it will line up a lot easier when you're utilizing that uh, fast tack. This has a sticky backing, it has a little scrap piece there, and then cover the whole thing. And then I'll do my next step for the full application, which in this case is 12 seconds. So it's easy. I mean, it's a uh, it's very uh, simple machine to operate. I'm going to give you some tips around uh, pressure here in one second, um, because this does not have digital pressure like our Hotronics machines do. Um, so you are going to have to get a feel for the pressure. So I'm going to give you some tips on how to do that. But very quick, very easy uh, to customize. We're saying anything from A to Z, whether that's T-shirts, whether that's heat transfer vinyl screen printed transfers, polos. There's a lot of different applications you can do. Again, this is our fashion film electric. You get that nice metallic sheen to the product. So uh, question that came in, are the Fusion platens compatible? So the reality is it's the same metal on the platens, but we are building an extender on those um, because this sits up a little bit higher. So you won't be able to just use the ones you have at home and be able to swap them. Um, we build these specially, but if you already own platens, you can probably convert, but you won't be able to use the same platens uh, on both. All right, next thing I want to do, I'll stick with this. Um, I'm going to do a bag. So this is an example where you can do two ways. You can either change the platen or you can just lay the bag on and put the print perfect pad in. And so the reason I wanted to show it this way is because can't really split this bag. It's a little bit too small and thread it over my 15 by 15 platen, but it's very easy to be able to lay onto the press, has enough room in the back for the straps to hang off the edge and be able to slide that print perfect pad directly into the pocket to raise the print area. Again, I'm going to use my cover sheet. I'm going to pull back my pressure here. Lock it down to do my preheat. And now I'm gonna heat apply our glitter material onto it. So this is glitter flake, cut on a vinyl cutter, very easy to position, and just a single step application to be able to apply this. So you start to imagine, there's a lot of different products you can make uh, with the heat press, um, from t-shirts to polos to hoodies to bags jackets we're going to do a pant leg here in a second i'm going to show you another technique with a hoodie utilizing a heat printing pillow to get close to the seams but as long as you have accuracy in your time temperature and pressure you are going to get durable results where you don't have the accuracy is when you're going to print something like this and either it's not going to peel right and the vinyl is going to want to peel up or you're certainly not gonna get durability if it's an item that, that is going to be laundered. So this machine is designed to be durable and accurate. I know a lot of people wanna print pant legs and sleeves. And so one accessory you're gonna to wanna to add to this is either a heat printing pillow for sleeves and legs, uh, pant legs, or a print perfect pad, which is what we've been using. We also carry a long slender design in that. There's no platen that'll fit perfect on this for sleeves and legs. Um, so this is why I wanted to show you this technique. Let me back you up so you can see the technique for loading this because you start to do 10, 15, 20 of these in a row, you're gonna wanna have the technique. I always like to lay the pillow completely on my arm um, because that's gonna give me kind of like a, a guide to go down into the pant leg, slide it in like this, and then just slide my arm out. And now I easily have put that into the pant leg instead of having to fumble with it. The nice thing about a tabletop machine like we have here is that there's area on both sides of the table if you can, if you can do that so you can rest the bulk of your garment so it's not going to want to slide off. So this heat printing pillow, not recommended for screen printed transfers, but great for applying heat transfer vinyl and other vinyl uh, products. Um, why it's so great is because it allows like the seam structure 
of the sweat pant or whatever you're printing to sink down in. And you'll see a clear picture of that when we press our next item. So this is a new item on. So let me just make sure my pressure is correct. You can't really get as much pressure out of a heat printing pillow as you can get out of a uh, firmer density surface like the Platin or the Print Perfect pad. So you will want to just have a little bit more pressure. And for this application, we're going to press heat transfer vinyl. This is like a Bahama blue color, I believe. And it just says Fit Life. So it's a nice just branding opportunity. Uh, put it next to the seam. The seam's gonna sink down in, uh, down the side of the pant leg. And again, just complete the application. So very nice, very easy. So I see we're sharing some links to where the tote bags uh, and whatnots are available. Darlene just asked the question, the difference between pillows and the pad. So the pillow is good if you need to kind of go over a seam um, and you need that seam to sink down in. The pad is good if you need to achieve a firmer pressure. Um, and so if you're working with heat transfer vinyl, there's not much of a difference, but for screen printed transfers, you're gonna wanna use the uh, print perfect pad. So right there down the side of the pant leg, very nice, very easy to do, very accurate with the heat printing pillow. All right, yeah, so if you're using screen printed transfers, you do need to use the print perfect pad. That is this firmer density. You can buy it in a different shape to do um, longer prints. Um, this is just a small one I use often for bags and left chest print locations. All right, the last items I'm going to do uh, before I look back through some questions and do a final review of the features of the press is just a nice fashionable hoodie. This is uh, a new era style. I'm assuming it's from Sanmar. We had it here in the office. And for this, I'm gonna use another pillow, but I'm gonna use my larger size. This is a 14 by 16 inch size, I believe. And again, the same technique to be able to load it into the item. And I'm going to try to press around the seams of the pocket. And so I'll lay it sideways so it's not gonna constantly fall off of my table here. And I'll just position my design sideways. I'm pulling the pocket down so it sinks down in. The seam structure is going to sink right down into the pillow when I'm pressing it, still allowing even pressure when it locks down. Let's do a preheat to get a feel for that pressure. It's a good pressure. I got some good compression there. That's my preheat. And I'm gonna take a two-step design. This is reflective, our reflective two silver material with I believe that is premium plus, which is our another material we have that's super soft for performance wear. So because I wanted to go right on the pocket, I'm bringing this entire pocket up onto the press. Positioning my design, I have stand up so I can line it up straight on this. And then we're going to press this background layer. I'm just gonna hit it for those few seconds. This is reflective too, so I believe it should hot peel. Let me try it. Yep. So get a nice hot peel release. And then I'll take my um, second layer, which is my premium plus. Position that on top. And because there is vinyl now exposed to the heater, I definitely want to use my cover sheet to cover everything and I can give it the full application. While it's doing that, I'm going to talk a little bit about pressure as well. So something you need to understand about this press, there's more than meets the eye when you're looking at a heat press. A lot of people think, hey, that it counts down, it has a temperature gauge, um, it has a pressure adjustment, that must mean it's accurate. Uh, we've already talked a little bit about the temperature and the microwound heater that we have here that makes this machine more accurate. Also the thicker heater, so you're not going to get um, a loss of heat from shirt to shirt, but pressure is, is often overlooked. So we've talked about getting the item flat. Yes, that's important, but also having this top heating element be completely flat is important as well. So we do a, um, a stress relief heater. Basically, it means if you hold a straight edge up to it, it's going. To, you're not gonna see any daylight on that straight edge. So it's it's a very flat surface. There's no grooves. It's not concave at all in the center. Um, a lot of the inexpensive presses that are out there, the $300, $350 machines, um, 
not only do we cut corners inside the heater, but we have a warped heater. And I can't tell you the number of people I've talked to that are having inaccurate prints because they're not getting good pressure. And so what they'll do is they'll try to throw a pillow in there, hoping it levels out the unevenness of their heater, but pillows aren't that great for screen printed transfers. So while you may be able to shortcut that for vinyl, you're not going to be able to really benefit from screen printed transfers as your uh, quantities go up. And so by having a quality machine like this, trust me, it's worth the extra uh, money to make sure that you can do all of the applications that you're going to want. And not only that you can complete them, but they're going to be highly durable. So that is the A to Z heat press. Now, when we talk about pressure, here's what I want to tell you on this machine. And when you buy the machine and register, we do give you instructions on how to do it. But the pressure is really easy on this one. I can turn the knob all the way to the right. Okay. I don't want to over tighten it, but I'm just going to turn it all the way to the right. And then I'm going to retract it back by about a quarter of a turn. And that's going to be the most pressure I can get on my flat platen. That's going to be a firm pressure on this machine. Okay. So you can lock it down. You'll need a little bit of leverage, but not much because it's coming right over the center with this easy lockdown design. And then if you want to do a medium pressure, you're just going to retract it. And usually I recommend retracting it by one full turn. Okay. And now when I lock it down, that's a medium pressure. A light pressure is another full turn. So here's a half a turn. Here's another half a turn. And now I have a light pressure where I barely just have to use two fingers to lock the machine down. Not much leverage at all. So it is by feel, um, but there is an indicator in that you can turn it all the way up and that gets you to a firm pressure. So if you've been using a Hotronics, yes, um, you have the best machine. You have the Cadillac of machines, but not everybody wants to spend um, another couple thousand dollars to buy a second Hotronics. This is a great little machine to travel with, uh, to put in a spare bedroom, in a garage, whatever it might be. And for those of you that are just getting into the business that may not have the budget quite yet for a Hotronics, this is a great way to get started and have something that's going to last that you're going to be able to establish repeat customers on. So eventually you can invest in all the bells and whistles and the high-end features that we give you in the Hotronics machine. So with that, um, that's our press. That's the extent of what I wanted to show you. I am gonna stay on and answer questions, which this part of the session is often where we learn the most. Um, I wanna share the link one more time to uh, the page. If we can just flash that up on the screen. Is that something you can do, Deborah? Or do I need to do that? Let me try it. I'll start the offer just to make sure you guys can all get it. Try it here, publish. All right, I think that offer is up on the screen where you guys can get access to it. When you click through that, um, basically um, there's a limited number of these that will become available in the middle of July and it will be on a first come first serve basis. You're just signing up to get on that pre-order list and then we will contact you once the machine is available to ship. Similar to what we did with our 360 IQ hat press that we just uh, launched a little bit ago that has started shipping um, out over the past few weeks. And then uh, come August, we'll have probably more of these machines than we'll have on the pre-order list. So we'll have plenty available uh, for you, but click that link and that's where you can sign up to pre-order. Um, and you can do that either at the Stalls website or at the Transfer Express website. Our customer service teams are fully trained on this machine. So, um, you can call in if you want to get on that pre-order list as well. And if they have any questions they can't answer, they can direct you um, over to me to be able to help with that. So with that in mind, I'm going to leave that offer up if I can. And I'm going to take a look at some of the questions. Yes, there is a uh, uh, free ground shipping on this machine as well. The weight of the machine is, um, don't quote me, I could be a couple pounds off, but is approximately 60 pounds. Now, I do have the machine on, but I'll show you how easy it is to lift. Basically lock it down lift it right here. And even with one arm, it's not too bad to lift. So I think it's very portable, very easy uh, to carry. We do recommend team lift out of the box. Um, Renee asks, is there a stand um, available for this machine? Uh, no, this is tabletop, but you have the semi-threadable design that comes built in. It's raised off of the table a little bit. Uh, we don't have any stand built with it, but pretty small dimensions will fit right on a standard tabletop. All right. Um, okay, so uh, some questions coming in on the hat press, the 360 IQ hat heat press. 
Um, I know we have a lot of folks that are on the list waiting to get shipped. We are shipping units every single day, so know that there are units going out. Um, if you were to order that 360 IQ, which is the hat press, not this machine, uh, right now today, I would estimate your order would ship by the end of August, early September. So for everybody else that's that's been on the list, um, you're, you're somewhere in that time frame, and we're calling people every day um, to release units. So I've seen a ton of them ship. Um, let's see. Uh, the lower platen Jeff can be changed on this one. So it is interchangeable. There's a knob underneath that allows you to quick change uh, the platen. I got a question about footprint, which I don't know that off the top of my head. So let me take a look here. This is 15 by 15. So looks by 18. Looks like it's probably about 20 inches as far as the depth. I believe this is an 18 inch pillow, so about 20 inches. But keep in mind, that's the footprint. You want enough space behind the machine to be able to swing the heater completely behind it. So don't forget about that. That's going to exceed the back uh, footprint of the press and also the space beside the machine for the heater to be able to completely swing away. And as far as width, it's probably about 16 inches wide uh, for the footprint. So I'd say about 16 by 20 on the footprint, but make sure you allow maybe another uh, 12 to 15 inches behind the machine for it to be able to be swinged away, swung away. Yeah, swung away. All right, um, Kevin just got on the pre-order list. Thank you for your order. Um, you will be called or emailed um, once the machine becomes available in mid-July to ship uh, for your credit card information. Let's see. Shipping cost is free shipping for Maria. Um, there's, you guys are helping each other out with questions. Thanks so much. But a question of the difference between craft paper and, and Teflon or non-stick cover sheet. Craft paper will leave a matte finish, whereas Teflon may gloss your finish up where it comes directly in contact. They're both reusable. I usually use the craft paper. I find it's a little easier for me to handle uh, with just one hand and placing over top. All right, lots of questions around that. Um, Stalls does not currently make mug presses. We used to, actually, when I first started here, sold a lot of mug presses back in 2002, roughly, but we no longer make a mug press. Okay, Nicole asks, what are the main differences between this and a Fusion? And that's a great question. Um, so let me point out a couple key differences. One is in the control board. The Fusion IQ has touchscreen controls where you can pre-program all of your settings. This machine, uh, and, and the Fusion IQ also measures pressure. This machine just measures time and temperature from a control. You need to punch it in uh, for the material, and it'll stay at that setting until you change it, but it's a much different uh, control board. Um, the Fusion IQ is also fully threadable, so it's a complete cantilever design. There's no post in the middle like we see on this one. Um, I know it's tough for you guys to see. Let me pull you back a little bit, but there is a post on this one that... Um, we call it semi-threadable, whereas the Fusion IQ is completely cantilever design. You can split your items as a very small footprint for loading. Um, so I would say the Fusion IQ is gonna give you greater versatility. Also the platen size, this is a 15 by 15 inch. The Fusion IQ is a 16 by 20 inch. And then warranty, this is a one year warranty. It's a quality machine, but the Fusion IQ is a beast. It's a five year uh, warranty. Both of them, however, do carry lifetime warranties on the heater that guarantee no cold spots and accuracy um, in your heater. So you're, you're going up quite a bit, getting a high-end premium machine on the Fusion IQ. I think this is a great machine, but it's nowhere in that class of the Hotronics machines. So hopefully that, that covers, I think, the majority um, of, the, of the differences. Yeah, size, control board, uh, warranty, and threadability. Those would be the big differences. All right, and I think I'm pretty good. Deborah. I don't know if you saw any questions that I missed, then you wanna jump on and ask them to me that would be important. So there was one that came up a couple times, which is the maximum material thickness that can be pressed. Okay. In the, the temperature, the top temperature. Top temperature, we're gonna find out together. I'm gonna to guess 430, that's what most of our machines are, but let me check. I'm gonna run this all the way up and we'll see where it stops. It's definitely capable of doing sublimation. That should be the hottest you'll ever get. Yeah, 430 is where it maxed out, out at. So 430 would be your maximum uh, temperature. Um, as far as thickness, actually, I don't know the answer to that um, right now. So let me try something real quick to at least get you close. Uh, 
I think that, uh, let's see, I'm going to grab a pad. Give me one second. I got another pad here behind me. So I'm going to just throw two pads onto the press to, to add a little bit more thickness. Uh, these are, um, this would be about a half inch uh, thick. So I at least want to be able to tell you whether it can do a half inch thick. And to be able to do that, basically, I'm just going to try to lock it down. I'm going to retract my pressure. We'll see how far this will go. Definitely a lot of room for it to raise. Yeah, so I'd say it can do a half inch thick easily. I'm going to guess... I'm going to guess that it would be fine with three quarters, but I'll need to verify that. It looks like it may be topping out there. So I feel confident saying a half inch thick for right now. It may be like our other machines and be fine at five eighths though. But we'll get, we'll get back to you on that. We'll have to, I'll have to find that out myself. All right. Anything else? Uh, just, we've got Lee's asking if you can go over the pressure adjustment one more time. And then I think you're pretty caught up. Sure. Yeah. So I'll take these out so we can show you the pressure adjustment. So pressure adjustment is in the back of the machine. And so you can just turn this knob um, clockwise to lower the pressure, counterclockwise to raise the pressure. Again, to get the heaviest pressure, I'm just going to turn this all the way, which is a while because I just had it raised all the way um, until it won't turn anymore. Great forearm workout. All right, so that's it till where it won't turn anymore. Now, you don't want to operate it there because you're going to have problems swinging it away freely with how the system works. So I recommend turning it all the way and then turning it back about a half of a turn and just to allow it to lock down and swing freely. And that will be your heavy pressure. From there to get to a medium pressure, just um, on the normal thickness here, which is just shirt thickness, then you're going to turn it another full turn. And that would be a medium and then another full turn counterclockwise to get a light because that's raising that platen. Um, usually pressure is, it needs to be accurate. You need to have enough of it, but usually as long as your item's flat and it's actually absorbing the pressure that you think it is, um, you can be medium when it's supposed to be a heavy or you can be light when it's supposed to be a medium. As long as you get in that ballpark, it's typically pretty accurate. It's when you get a seam up there or a button or something absorbing your pressure that you start to have application issues, I'm finding. All right. Um, and then unrelated question came in, but I'll take it for, from Tracy. Ultra Color Soft is the product that was formerly called Stretch Litho Mat. So the Stretch, the Ultra Color Stretch and the Ultra Color Stretch with Dye Block are two products that are yet to come out from Transfer Express. But the Ultra Color Soft is the same product as Stretch Litho Mat. All right, good. So I want to thank you all for joining us live. We kept many hundreds of people on uh, the whole time. And so hopefully you enjoyed the launch of our new heat press, the A to Z swing away heat press. There'll be more info on it. Um, if you have any follow-up questions, make sure you e email us um, at our transfer express or stalls inboxes um, or ask a question in our heat press for profit Facebook group. I'll be on there looking over the next uh, day or so to see if anybody has questions about this brand new machine. Thanks so much and have a great rest of your day.